So the first thing that comes with the office of apostleship, we got to get over trying to prove ourselves. Amen. The first thing you got to get delivered from is trying to prove who you are to people. You have to walk in a different level of confidence and a different level of the anointing and authority to know that I don't have nothing to prove. We go to places and your discernment got to be more keen than wherever it is now. Say that. And why am I saying that? Because the word says even the very elect shall be fooled. So that means that we're not exempt from this thing. Some of us, we get so high up that we think that don't nothing hit you, that can nothing get by you. But God revealed something to me in a dream. And God spoke a word and said to me that there are stealthy spirits in the church. My God. So what does that mean? That means that there are spirits that are creeping in the church unaware, undetectable. Uh -huh. yes. Undercover, my God. Undetectable. Anything that is stealthy doesn't even get picked up on radar. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Jesus. Did you catch that? Right. Anything that is stealthy God. doesn't even get picked up on radar. So your little Holy Ghost huh. antennas Thank couldn't you pick God. that up. Wow. Huh? But you got to get to a place of discernment where you understand that, God, I got to try the spirit by what it is. Yeah. God, I need you to reveal a mystery to me. Yeah. God, I need you to add knowledge to me. God, I need you to add understanding to me that I don't just operate religiously, that I don't just come in because this is what I've been taught to do. This is what I've been programmed to do. I've been told to dress like this. I've been told to look like this. I've been told to lift my hands like this. I've been told to shout. We know the cue. When we hear the music, it's like everybody bucks at the same time. But come on, we got to get to a place where I'm not bucking because everybody else is bucking. But somebody got to watch as well as what? Pray. Come on now. So where's our discernment at? Because while we're hucking and bucking and dancing, come on, there's so many different lust spirits, come on, there's so many different spirits transforming from person to person, and we having such a good time at a party that we don't realize that stuff is being transferred. My God. We go home with thoughts and struggles and stuff that we know we didn't come to church with, but it's on us when we leave. Jesus. I didn't have this problem before I got here, but now all of a sudden now I'm going home and stuff is on my mind that shouldn't be there. Where did it come from? Because I know this ain't my issue. It's in the atmosphere. Come on. Huh? We got we to gotta add that to our understanding. And, and as an apostolic people, y'all got me tapping into so much different stuff. I don't know which way to go right now. Come on. We have to get to a place where even prophetically, we have to enlarge our understanding of the prophetic because the prophetic is more than who come Messiah. Come on. And we want to speak in tongues for 15 minutes to give me a sentence of a prophecy. <laughs> I love it. Uh-huh. Somebody catching me? Yeah. You're speaking in all these tongues, but you're not giving the right interpretation. <coughs> and for apostles, see, this is the hard place for apostles because apostles are accountable for a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's right. We're accountable for a lot of stuff. Apostles are accountable for being able to see, look. Look at your, your, your palm of your hand. Your thumb is the what? Apostle. Your pointer finger is the prophet. Uh -huh. Their job is to uncover, mm -hmm. to point out. The longest finger on your hand is the evangelism finger. We use it for other stuff, but it's for outreach. It's the longest <laughs> finger on your hand, which, which denotes that we are to go in and pull out. Yeah. 